Thank you. For the ECR, Mr Alahaho, please. Thank you, Mr Chairman. <clears throat> Mr Commissioner, in our previous dialogue, I asked you about your views on the Commission proposal for a new firearms directive. Now that the trilogues are underway, I would like to repeat the question, and I would appreciate an answer more concrete than that you aim for a fair and balanced outcome. So, will the Commission continue to insist stubbornly on a total ban and confiscation of semi-automatic uh, sporting rifles, despite the fact that this line has been heavily criticized in both the European Parliament and the Council, and despite the fact that no criminological study suggests this particular type of legally acquired and possessed firearms were a threat to public security. Does the Commission consider starting to respect the EU's own principles of good legislation? From your initial brief remarks, I got the impression that you are rather enthusiastic about the Commission proposal, but I hope this is a false impression. Thank you. On the particular question of firearms uh, uh, raised uh, by um, one of the honorable members, so, uh, um, I, um, uh, I'm terribly sorry, I, I am enthusiastic about the Commission position. Um, I think you would be very surprised if I took any position other than to um, support uh, the Commission position. Uh, but as I, as I set out, um, I, I do really want us now to find a way of agreeing uh, together uh, what we're going to do in this area. Uh, because I think more than a year on, for, uh, soon more than a year on from uh, the events of the Bataclan, it is getting quite hard to explain uh, publicly uh, why it is we're stuck. Now, uh, in order to reach an agreement, it has to be an agreement that all parties can rally to. Uh, the Commission, Member States, and uh, the Parliament. So uh, I don't uh, at all want to take away from the um, uh, very detailed uh, debate that is taking place on how exactly to formulate effective um, controls. Uh, but I do hope that we will be able to find an agreement soon and that that agreement will restrict the circulation of fully automatic and converted semi-automatic weapons in a way that respects um, their legitimate use uh, in uh, different communities and different parts of our society. Uh, that, I think, is the aspiration, and I hope we're able to realize it soon.